Welcome back to Let's Make a Game, a channel about making computer role-playing games using the free program Twine and the Sugarcube format for Twine. In this video, and in videos to come, I would like to talk about programming a combat system. Um, thus far, we haven't really done that. We have had games in which there is fighting in the in the in the plot of the of the game but we've handled that with a single dice roll and if you might you know if you succeed in the roll then you um, are said to have won the combat without suffering any damage and if you lose then you then you suffer damage but you might want to have a more um, a more detailed combat system a lot of um, role-playing games both pen and paper and computer um, have a lot of combat. Some of them revolve completely around combat and have very sort of uh, intricate tactical sort of combat systems. Um, but I'm going to start with a very basic combat system and then in uh, subsequent videos I'm going to add um, more and more options and you can uh, sort of think about what you know what level of detail and what level of um, of options is appropriate for the game that you want to make so let's um, have a, um, a look at what it looks like in play first and then we'll go through the code so we can see it's a simple sort of exchange of blows you miss the enemy hits for four damage, you miss, the enemy misses, you hit for seven damage, the enemy misses, you miss, the enemy hits for two damage, you hit for four damage, and finally you win the combat. Um, so let's do one more run through because it's, as you can see, fair, should be fairly swift. You hit for three damage, the enemy misses, you hit for one, the enemy hits for three. Both of you miss, the enemy hits you for two damage. You hit for one, and then finally you hit for five damage and win the combat again. So that's what it looks like. Obviously, that's quite basic. Probably as, as basic as you can get and still call it a combat system. Um, so let's go through the code for that. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit. What I've done, I'm using uh, terms from Dungeons & Dragons just because that's the most common um, game but of course you don't have to base it on that um, so we have dollars AC which is armor class dollars HP which is hit points how much um, damage you can take before you die dollars AB which is attack bonus um, how like affects how likely you are to to hit your enemy and then dollars DA, which is the maximum damage. So in this case, DA is eight, which means that um, if the player character successfully hits, then they do between one and eight damage. Now, all of these four variables relate to the player character, and then we have the equivalent, um, but for the enemy, and so they are they have an E in front of them. So it's EAC, EHP, EAB, and EDA. Um, and as you can see, I've made the enemy um, less capable in combat than the um, than the player character, just because that's usually usually how it is. Um, so we have enemy armor class is twelve, whereas the player characters is thirteen. The enemy has eight hit points compared to ten. The enemy's attack bonus is zero compared to two. And the enemy's damage is a maximum of six instead of a maximum of eight. So let's see how that works. So we go to, and also of course the, the system is set up so that the player character strikes the first blow. So what we do is we generate a random number from one to twenty. So we simulate rolling a, a d20, a twenty-sided dice, and then we add that to the attack bonus and we compare it to the enemy's armor class and we're trying to get or if we want if the hit is the hit, yeah, the hit is successful if this random roll plus the attack bonus is greater than or equal to the enemy's armor class and if that is the case then these things happen if it's not the case if they 
the total of those is lower than the enemy's armor class, then you just get the message that you miss. But if you hit, then we generate a random number from 1 to DA, so from in this case between 1 and 8, and the enemy hit points are reduced by that number, and we give a message saying you hit for 4 damage or whatever it may be, and then if the enemy hit points have been reduced to 0 or less, the combat of course is over, the, the enemy is dead, um, but if the enemy hit points are greater than 0, either because you missed or because um, you didn't do enough damage to, to kill the enemy, then we go to um, Foe Strike, which is a page for the enemy hitting back. Um, and this works in exactly the same way, except that the variables are swapped. So we, um, we roll a d20, we compare that to... We, we compare that plus the enemy's attack bonus to the player character's armor class. If we hit, we generate damage, we, rem uh, we take that damage from the hit point total, and we give a message saying that the enemy has hit for that amount of damage. Otherwise, we give a message saying the enemy has missed. And then if the human's hit points, or the player character's hit points, are still greater than zero, then we go back to PC strike. Otherwise, we give the message that the player character has been has been killed. So that's not a very complicated combat system, not a very satisfactory combat system. Um, it's also not very good coding because if we're doing the same thing, the, the way the player character attacks and the way the enemy attacks are the same, it, it feels like we should have a we should be able to have a single piece of code. We should have a subroutine or a page that's that's just rolling to hit. Um, and, and that both of those use it. Um, but this is the most sort of basic, this is the sort of uh, bare bones or the most basic combat system that could still be called a combat system. Um, and as I say, in subsequent videos, we will be adding uh, things like morale and um, you know, the option to flee and, and so on. Um, but I hope that was useful or interesting to at least some of you. And I hope you will tune in next time.